welcome back to my pile of projects. So today we are flipping a hoodie that I purchased for a low, low cost and then needed it to fit a little bit differently. It came with a zipper down the front of the hoodie, but like some hoodies, the design on the back was far more intriguing than the one on the front. So the first step I did was take the zipper out of the front of the hoodie. Some people would prefer to seam rip this, however I was not looking to save any portion of the zipper and I don't plan to reuse it. So I decided to cut it straight up and down the front using scissors. I did use my rotary cutter to trim up the bottom. Another big factor for me was the hood. After inspecting my hoodie I decided I better rotate the hood and face it forward which meant completely removing the hood and starting from scratch. Measured from my collar to my hip bone to decide how long this should be. Every so often I would take measurements and make sure it aligned with the project that I had in my head. But mostly I kept this crop, this hoodie true to size, true to its original shape. I wanted to keep the boxy fit because that was still the design that I had in my head. Um, tags removed, didn't want any prickly sharpie things. Uh, same as the zipper. I don't understand why the zipper was made in, uh, in a color that's completely opposite of the hoodie uh, when the logos were done in gray. So I decided to change it just so it would be more comfortable for the gym. And then I just carried on. I removed the zipper, made sure that the inside seam was the desired length, and then I went ahead and cropped the whole thing. Um, some people prefer to keep a certain amount of those pockets uh, still attached. I decided because I was cropping it, they weren't important, and ultimately I also removed these pockets, and they were no longer in my way. Now this is where it got interesting. Once I had finished the hoodie, or so I thought, I realized I still hadn't addressed the pockets at the back of the hoodie. Then I proceeded to seam rip it out, only to find out that that was a lot harder than I anticipated because of the type of fabric and the way that my stitching had uh, woven itself into the different, the four layers of sweatshirt material, which over time had also pilled, which meant it was very difficult to make sure I was catching the threads and not the actual fabric itself. At this point I just decided it was better to cut across the top of where this pocket lined up rather than to waste my time seam ripping as I had more projects on my work table that needed to be addressed in the same day. When I laid it down to actually cut it out using my rotary cutter, I also realized the flaw in my stitching and how these pockets didn't even line up. I'm not quite sure how I missed that, but it was a mistake I wasn't even willing to try and correct because by this point um, the collar seam had already been aligned, so it was easier to just Clean make it really which, sharp with this rotary cutter and the ruler. You can see how tidy this turns out, if you do it right. I was also left with a significant portion of scrap fabric, which I donated to my dad. One final note is I actually altered the collar once again with scissors just to make it fit me a little more. 